Hi everybody, Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Memorial Day Monday. And of course on this Memorial Day, we remember all of our fallen heroes today, those brave men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our freedoms, a very important holiday in this country, and remember all of those individuals today. We're going to take a look at a couple of races, the fifth race on the Parks program and a national race out at Santa Anita, the Grade 1 Shoemaker Mile on the turf. Now the local race here, the fifth race, a mile in 70 yards, Phillies and Mares, a 12-5 Claiborne non-winners of two lifetime. I'm going to go with number five, Abuela Loco. Now coming out of the Phil Aristone barn, we'll have Apprentice Mario Sanchez aboard. Now she broke her maid at the bottom price of $10,000, was three to five that day, so it was a race that she was expected to win. And she won that race by double digits. And after that maiden breaker, she has been in three allowance races, two state bred first level allowance and an open allowance, uh, her next three starts. She acquitted herself pretty well in all of those races. And then uh, trainer Phil Arrowstone dropped her into this 15,000 odd winners to two in the next start. And she ran a decent second that day. Now, that was a decent second off what was a, not a very good trip. She got an awkward beginning and was very wide in that race. She has shown decent early speed in almost all of her races, so she should be up or on or near the pace today. And again, second in this spot last time out and beaten favorite. I'm going to give her another chance. I like number five, Abuela Loco, in our fifth race today. Now, the Great One Shoemaker Mile is a very interesting race. Anytime you have heart-to-heart -heart in there, that presents a very interesting scenario for all of the other runners because Heart to Heart is a horse that absolutely likes to go to the front. So if you're one of the other horses in here that does have speed, what do you do? Do you go up and engage Heart to Heart early and possibly burn yourself out? Or do you let Heart, heart, heart to Heart go and then basically let him stroll around and set his own pace and go on to a victory like he's done so many times before? So again, that presents a difficult scenario for the other front runners. But the horse on the inside today, number one, Om was in against Heart to Heart last time out at Keeneland and broke outside of Heart to Heart and decided to sit second. Now breaking inside today, down at the inside, I expect jockey Joe Talamo to send on. And if that scenario does play out, I think a good chance here for number two, Bowie's Hero. Bowie's Hero is a horse that has absolutely come into his own of late for Red Hot Trader Philip D'Amato. And breaking from that two hole with the other horse to sp with the speed on the inside, I see Bowie's Hero absolutely just pretty much immediately dropping to the inside and being able to save all the ground around both of those turns and then in the lane trying to outkick the other ones and uh, again you're going to be betting against heart to heart here but I think Alm's going to send today and if that scenario does play out let's try number two Bowie's hero in the Shoemaker Mile at Santa Anita. Good luck everybody and again the best of the holiday.